Hello guys, my name is Jordan Wikania. I'm a CEO and founder at JT Devs. For today's video, we're going to look at some of the examples that we're going to use uh, with Powerfin. Okay, those examples will be based on loops. So let's define a loop. A loop, it, based, it actually allows us to repeat something, a block of statement. Yeah, that would be a loop. So let's say, for example, you want to know how many times you have to display a number from 1 to, uh, to 10. Then you need a loop, so you just have to write one statement, and then you need to increment your counter, then to display from the lowest number to the highest number, or from highest number to the lowest number. It depends on the logic. Let's start with the while loop. So a while loop, most of the time we use it when we actually do not know where to stop or when to stop. Then it's kind of a process. Then if there's something, your program somewhere within the process of knowing things while you are doing something, then you can use a while loop. First, let's create a counter. A counter will be anything, any variable that you want to use. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use a CNT equals to zero. Then we say y CNT is less than seven. Why? Because we want to display a number from zero to six. Then we say CNT. Then after that, we need to increment our numbers, our counter. Increment the increment the counter. I'm just going to say display display the counter. Okay, then let's increment it. Then we're just going to say CNT plus equals to 1. Then we have 0 to 6. And then, what is a range? A range allows us to generate some numbers from start to end. So, we're going to see it in action using a for loop. And then, a for loop allows us to know to generate or to display numbers from lowest number to highest or highest to number to lowest. Then, it's also going to allow us to repeat something, but with a for loop, we already know where we should end our loop. Okay, let's see. For, so I think we say for i in i, it will be your counter, and then we say range. Then we're just going to say to 10 because there's only one number. Then, if when you specify one number, it's going to be only the maximum. So, look here if I put a mask on top of it, then we need to pass, we can pass also uh, three arguments. It's allow us to pass the three arguments. The first argument would be the start, the second will be the stop, where to stop, and the third will be the step. So, the step it will be the increment. So, if you say it specify one, it will step one. And then if you specify a two, then it should be step two. Then we just have to say print. Then we display i. Okay, we can zero to nine. So let's say for instance, if we want to display from uh, from one. Then you say 1, and then 1 it will be the lowest number, and then you specify 10, then you put your 10 there. Then it will display from 1 to, I believe, to 9. Then you display from 1 to 9. Then if you want it to step, 
by two, then you specify two. Then let's have a look, then we'll see if odd numbers. Okay. And then on us, and then if you want to start uh, from the highest number going to the lowest number, you specify your highest number in here, then your lowest number, then the step. So the step is true not going to it should not be a positive number, it needs to be a negative number. Then we'll say minus one. So let's have a look. So it will be one believe where it's going to start from from one to let's see then oh, I mean from ten then so it started from ten all the way to two then it stopped okay then that would be it I'm just going to verify if that's it. Uh, I'll pick up everything. So, everything. Okay, so the nested group is going to be once we get to uh, two dimension array. Then we'll talk about uh, old grade. Then we'll talk about nested. Uh, nested group. I was about to say nested if that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you guys. Please share, like, and subscribe. Bye.